This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar with an effects overview for Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll illustrate how to create an adjustment layer, then explain how it works, how to add effects to it, and what happens when you move clips around it. An adjustment layer is a special kind of clip that contains no media. Instead, it allows us to apply effects to that adjustment layer, which then apply to all the clips below it. This is a very powerful way to add or modify effects to a single clip, which then apply to a large number of clips. In this section, I want to show you how to create an adjustment layer, how to apply and modify effects to an adjustment layer, and the results of moving clips under an adjustment layer. Let me show you how this works. Here I have three clips. I built a picture in picture with our sea turtle, our serious fish, and a lovely background scene of fish swimming in a blue ocean. Let's say that I wanted to create an effect where the background is blurred. Well, I could apply a blur, a Gaussian blur, to each one of the background clips, but a faster way to work is to use an adjustment layer. Let me show you. There's two ways that we can create an adjustment layer. One is we can click this little icon with a twirled page and we can select adjustment layer there. Or I can go up to the file menu, go to new and select adjustment layer. It creates an adjustment layer which matches the size of our, our sequence, which is fine. And it adds it as a clip into the project panel. I'm gonna grab the adjustment layer and drag it over to here, same as any other clip. And as we saw with Blur, there are no settings applied to the adjustment layer, which means that when I add it to the sequence, nothing changes. Let's create a Blur. So let's go back to the Effects Browser, and let's search for Blur. And we'll grab our Gaussian Blur and drag it on top of the adjustment layer. Let's pull the adjustment layer down. Not that we, I mean, it would work a higher layer, but I don't have a lot of room to work, so we'll just pull it down. And it's now blurry, but again, the blur has no setting, so we got to change the blur, and we'll make it blurry. Whoa, look what just happened. <laughs> First, it's a lot blurry. Second, every clip below the adjustment layer was blurred. Unlike before, where the blur only affected a single clip, this affects all three. If I grab the sea turtle and drag it above the adjustment layer, notice the sea turtle is now in perfect focus, but everything else is blurry. If I pull the adjustment layer down and drag the fish up, now the two insets are in focus and the background is blurry, which is a great way of making sure your eye sees the inserts first and then pays attention to the background. Any clip which is below the adjustment layer is affected by the adjustment layer. Well, let's add something different. Let's select the adjustment layer. Again, you got to select it to apply an effect. And let's go to Lumetri Presets, and let's go to Monochrome, and let's add Monochrome Punch to the adjustment layer. Whoa, look at that. Not only did everything get blurry, but all the color was removed of all the clips below the adjustment layer. Again, we'll take our inset, pull it up here. Now that's dramatic. We have this interesting black and white image of blurry fish, but look how your eye is forced to go to those two smaller picture inserts. The color is there, the, the dynamic, the focus. I mean, your eye has to go to those two color images before it looks at anything in the background. The cool thing is the adjustment layer can be any length you want. It could be a full 30 minutes long. I can apply all of these settings to a single adjustment layer and every clip, regardless of where it occurs, as long as it's underneath the adjustment layer, has that effect applied to it. Really, really cool. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar with an overview of all the different effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 303. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library can save you money and time. 
you can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.